Hello, everyone. Well, I have something that's very interesting. I think it's interesting, and the cat thinks it's interesting also. It's this little um, wise concentric ring key lock is what the key says on it. Patented concentric tubular lock. And over here it says... Um, the Wise Lock Company, Cleveland, Ohio, made in USA. And it's got a little Wise Lock shape there that looks kind of like a smiley face. And then these are the key. I don't know if this is actually the bidding, but, but they have different numbers like that. You can find them with different cuts in them. And the way this thing works is you it's kind of like a push lock. You push this key in, and then you can turn it. It'll open either way. And then down here you can kind of see what would be the Bible. There's these little rings here. And I guess this would be your core. So, when I first attempted to pick it, I was using my probe device. Which is almost not strong enough. And I've, I've abused this thing on, on trying to find uh, the safety catch on locks and stuff. The locking pile on the unshielded padlocks, even shielded ones, scraping around there, digging on things, and I've I've never bent it. But on this thing, there's so much force that you got to put. I basically just use a screwdriver, which is another reason why these things are probably not made anymore, um, because you just take a common screwdriver <clears throat> and you can push in here. Now this lock, I don't know if it's the bidding. See, I've got a slight turn on the core. I don't know if it's a bidding or not, but when you get to this point right here, you have to, I mean, getting, it's going to not cooperate for the camera. <clears throat> you get a, a slight turn. There's still another ring that needs to be picked. Let's see if this probe will help. Right. I did it all with the screwdriver the, last, the couple of times that I've opened it so far, so... All right, when you're at that point, you basically pick two rings. Now, even with the key, this is what got me, because I was wondering, what am I doing wrong? Even with the key, if you push it in, you cannot get that thing to turn. And what you have to do is kind of a jog thing. You hit the center one. There's only like three rings. You hit the center one, come back a little bit, and over. you got to catch it just right to do that. But it can all be done with a screwdriver, common screwdriver. And this was probably lock up a link of a chain. Um, but there you go. <clears throat> it's a thin, it's a very small, uh, not real, real small, but it's a small common screwdriver. So there you go. It's just a matter of, uh, you you can push on all of them. It's not, you don't have to worry about like oversetting. And I'm pushing with my thumb finger this way, but you could go with your thumb that way, whichever, if you're left or right-handed, whatever works for you. But this may just be the bidding or this particular lock, but when you get to that particular state right there, <clears throat> that's where you have to hit the center ring down here, and you have to do it just right. You can hear kind of a click. If you go too far, you're going to lock it back up. So you've got to kind of like counter rotate, manual counter rotate. That's the only um, good thing I can say about this lock as far as like picking resistance. Is that you need to know you need to do that trick if you were sitting there pushing on anything else and you got to that state where it was locked like that it still would not allow you to <clears throat> remove the chain but just simply mashing on it and trying to turn it well this time this case it worked but on those other ones man just mashing on it and turning on it Let's see if I can get it into that state there we go just mashing and turning on it wasn't getting it. See? It's not getting it. You have to go like that. And I think that's because you're you're bringing the center line of this circle off center of that one. So it's actually kind of like touching the other ring down here when you're when you're uh, pressing on it. And so that's why you have to come back to get everything to concent concentrically line up. The little circles line up little bullseye so yeah, there you go I and mean, you can see the bidding when it's turned like that that's you could actually impression or cut a key to set that depth if you didn't have one um 
They're not real easy to find. They go for anywhere from 10 to $20, depending on whether they've got a key or not, and depending on how much people bid against you. Uh, but a pretty cool little lock, and I hadn't seen a whole lot of these out there before, or people picking them. I certainly don't remember anybody picking one with a screwdriver. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that little wise lock. Oh, also, I noticed uh, Leon's lock pad um, mentioned to me that I was approaching 300 subscribers. And um, I'm also approaching 600 videos. So last time I did a 200, 400 giveaway. This one's probably going to be at 300, 600. <laughs> 300 uh, subscribers and 600 videos. Um, it'll have to be after the holidays because um, it basically got wiped out on shipping and stuff. But I'll announce it. It'll be a separate, you know, video announcing it and everything. And uh, <clears throat> what all I'll give away. But... I've got another one of these that I'm bidding on, and if I get it, it's going to have a key and everything. That's going to be included uh, in my giveaway, because um, on, on my particular giveaway, uh, this time I want to include some antique locks and stuff like that. Um, just stuff that I know nobody, you know, very few people would have. Whoa, it shoots that key out. Did you see that? Let's do that again. This is why the cat likes this lock. Pow! <laughs> one more time. I gotta do it one more time. I'm sorry. We'll shoot it towards the camera. Pow! It goes pretty far. See? So you're gonna have a lot of fun with this lock. Just playing with the key. So, thank you for watching, everyone. And happy... Oh, picking them with the cat off the table. Sorry, he recovered.